Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to take you guys to Texas. We're going to look at the sun through a camera and you're going to see something quite remarkable. I've never seen anything like what I'm about to share with you guys from down here on the ground looking up in the sky in the in the visible light spectrum. Also, coming up in my next video here in the next day or two, we're going to take a look at what could be the return of the Phoenix lights that were observed out here in Phoenix back in 1967. I've got video footage of something that looks exactly like this right here, and they're moving through the sky together as if they're attached to something larger. And no, they are definitely not Chinese lanterns. That's a video coming up here in just a few days. Starting off over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Ray out of Utah. Big photogenic clouds stacked on top of each other in Utah. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux, you can see the, the long duration X-class solar flare that occurred late on the 17th and it lasted clear up into the 18th, lasting for several hours. And here's a look at the X2 class solar flare. Here it is from the, the Solar Dynamics Observatory. You can see it right up here on the upper northeastern quadrant of the sun, right there. Very powerful X class solar flare. That, that part of it was Earth directed. The ionosphere reacted almost instantly. Here's a, a view from the, the SOHO LASCO C2 instrument. And you can see the, the large solar flare from the LASCO C2. And here's the wider field of view, the C3. And you can see it almost produced what they call a full halo when the solar flare goes out in a 360 degree pattern and that one certainly did once again very large long duration solar flare looking at the planetary k index it has not responded to that energy yet it is supposed to tomorrow and here's a look at what caused that activity right here this sunspot this active region that's loaded with sunspots right up here again on the the northeastern limb of the sun and you can see the earth facing side of the sun is is loaded with sunspots some over here on the right that are that are turning away from the earth and we have some new ones that are turning towards the earth right now as I do this video quick check in on Lake Mead you can see it's still going up the overall water content is on the rise at Lake Mead and going from Lake Mead to Lake Powell they both share the same water source the Colorado River Lake Powell is north of Lake Mead and Lake Powell continues to go down and that's all of the red numbers you see right here negative readings consistently now for two weeks in a row actually over two weeks and the overall water content continues continues to shrink at Lake Powell and it continues to rise at Lake Mead which is great news. I want to take you guys now to Texas. We're going to look at something different before we look at the sun. Video footage here sent in by Rob Hall from the Taylor, Texas area that would be north and east of Austin, Texas. This was back during the ice storm that went through Texas a, a few weeks ago, I think a couple of weeks ago. And the sky looked like this for an extended period of time flashing light blue, light green, and, and light red at times. Almost looks like a firework display going on in the Texas area. This is obviously some sort of a power substation that's that's going through some issues from the ice storm. Looks like it's surging from time to time, causing these arcs of, of color to go up into the sky. And you can see there was low clouds on the horizon. So the, the colorful light was bouncing off of the low clouds very quickly. And it was scattering in all directions, causing the, the light to look very large. They even described it as a firework display, causing the lights, I'm assuming from transformers, uh, the green indicates, I think, copper, and the red indicates some sort of a, a fluid that's inside transformers, if that's indeed what we're looking at here. Some sort of transformer issues from the, the heavy ice that, that Texas saw during the, the recent ice storm. And this was a, a substation over there in the distance that was Dealing with some surges probably from power lines that were going down and causing the overall system to short circuit. This is just a possibility. I don't know for sure. They saw this and felt compelled to take a video, and I certainly would have too. You don't see this every day. That's for sure. It looked like a fireworks display. And you can see it's kind of dark over there. There's not a whole lot of city lights. You can see a few random lights here and there, but, but overall it's pretty dark except for the colorful light display. Video footage sent in by Rob Hall 
from Taylor, Texas. I want to take you guys now back to Texas, and what you're about to see is real. This is not an anomaly. This is something that was observed by Misty and I believe her husband from Gilmer, Texas, and they were filming the sun as they noticed something sticking off of the the upper northwestern part of the sun. That would be up here around the the 2 o'clock position. If the the face of the sun were a clock, that would be at the 2 o'clock position. What you're seeing right there looks like some sort of a a large coronal hole. Sometimes that's referred to as a as a flux rope. And at first, you're going to think, well, that's just a, a light saturation anomaly. And got to be honest, I did too at first, as I've seen hundreds of videos of the sun. I've taken videos of the sun myself over the years, and, and I've had this type of anomaly not exactly like this occur. But I'm going to show you what can happen sometimes when the, the light saturation from the, the brightness of the sun overwhelms the camera you're going to see what looks like a big loop come down here and then quickly dissipate. This one up here does not go away. It stays in the same location even as the camera is moving around, the camera is zooming in, zooming out, and you would think that that loop, whatever it may be, would also change shape and, and brightness, that it would change. It doesn't. You can see the camera moving from side to side. That right there should eliminate any type of anomaly. If that, you see that right there? Look like something like a solar flare that went right through the loop. I'm going to zoom in, show you guys this in different formats. In fact, here's the first format that I put it in. I just kind of put it in an x-ray format made it dark and everything else light and you can see that that thing does not change shape it doesn't move when the camera moves and you're going to see what looks like a, a burst of energy right through the center of that big loop that's coming off of the the two maybe three o'clock position of the sun and they noticed it from the ground in Gilmer Texas I've never seen anything like this and in all of the videos I've seen of the sun I mean I've seen random anomalies don't get me wrong but they they come and go as quickly as they appear this thing stayed there for the longest time and you're going to be able to see like right there they zoomed in and the the sun just overwhelmed the camera with with light saturation and that anomaly whatever it may be did not disappear it stayed in the same location didn't change shape it didn't move in fact something came off of the sun in that same location or at least it appeared to going through the center of that that loop that again right there looks like some sort of a solar flare something jumped off of the sun and I don't think this was a camera glitch they captured something right there see that in the visible light spectrum I just slowed it down and zoomed in a little bit so you could could get a better look at what they they saw here this was very unique I've never seen this before here it is in yet another format and you can see the the big loop up here at the two o'clock position again they noticed this through the the camera and they moved the camera around thinking this thing would just kind of disappear and it didn't it stayed there so they continued to film this object from the ground in Texas coming up here in just a minute you're going to see that burst of energy here the the sun kind of overwhelms the camera just a little bit and you'd think that loop would disappear right no it stays right there here comes even more light saturation and the loop is still there in the same place doesn't change a bit they even take the camera down to the ground back up it surely would disappear then if it was an anomaly watch right there I just showed you a big loop uh, that the camera produced sometimes that happens you're gonna see something right down here a big loop off of the bottom right there at the seven o'clock position see that big loop how it appeared and quickly disappeared those are common. You see those all the time in videos of the sun. There it is again. Looked like a big solar flare, but it wasn't. That was a light anomaly. That was an excellent example of an anomaly that you see sometimes if you're recording the sun. And see how it quickly disappeared? It's not there anymore. This one is still there. And right there, you see what looks like a solar flare? Again, this is in the visible light spectrum. This may not be visible over at the Solar Dynamics Observatory because those images are produced via wavelengths. And that's why they can show many different layers of the sun. They don't show anything in the visible light spectrum and here's an example of a, of a big what looks like a flux rope a coronal hole this is from the the Soho Lasco C3 instrument see how that kind of looks similar to what we're looking at over here on the ground from Texas that's pretty incredible video footage and I'm surprised that they saw that but it was so big and so obvious they couldn't help but notice it and took a video of it and I'm glad they shared that with me did anybody else happen to notice that that occurred on February the 4th of 2023 
uh, just about two weeks ago, if you guys happen to notice that, that big anomaly, it was noticed on the ground from Gilmer, Texas. Video footage by Misty, again, from February 4th of 2022. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Click on the red banner, drag and drop your video into the red tab. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.